Right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade tens. It's Mr. Shajoy here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Now, we are still looking at our statistics and we are looking at different past papers to try and understand in terms of how can we go about in solving these types of questions, right? Now, let's start. So, this is a question paper. All right. So this is what uh this it's a September question paper, right? This is a September question paper. Uh this I think it was from the KZN province, the year it was 2023, right? Now, uh so let's see here. So this is going to be your grouped data. Now they say uh, a mathematics teacher records uh the time taken by the learners of his great uh of his uh grade 10 class to compete or else complete the class test, right? Now, the first thing that they want us to do is to determine which one is going to be the modal class, right? Now, when we speak of modal class, right? When we speak of modal class, basically, we are saying it's going to be the one with the highest frequency, right? So which one is going to be the one with the highest frequency? If you can check here, uh, uh, then this one from 60 to 70 is the one that is having the what? It's the one that is having the highest frequency. Therefore, which means your modal class here, it's going to be between, uh, you know, your 60 uh, up until what? Up until 70. So basically that is going to be that one, right? Now let's look at uh, then your uh, your 3.2.2. Now they want us to complete the midpoint column of the data or on what? On an answer sheet provided, right? Luckily, we are just going to complete it uh, with these particular dates. Now, what is it that you're going to do? In order for you to find the midpoint, so the first thing that you need to do, you're going to take, uh, you are going to take what? This is going to be 10 plus 20 divided by two. Then you're going to get what is the answer for this one, which is going to be 15. The same thing, 20 plus 30 divided by two. And you're getting your midpoint from these two values. So you, you add these two then, uh, divide by two. The same thing here, continuously, so right, right? So which means this is going to be 15. This is going to be 25. And after that, the other one is going to be 35. And you're going to have your 45 on this one. The other one, it's going to be your 55. And also your 65. Oh, it's okay. So basically, this is going to be the marks that you are going to get for completing what? For completing this particular uh, table. All right, again. Now, hopefully, all of us understand in terms of how do we go about in getting the midpoint. Now, after that, what is it then that you are going to do here? Then they want us to draw uh, the frequency polygon of uh, the what? Of the given data uh, on a what? On a system. Or rather, or rather on a system of ads is provided, right? Now, luckily, how do we draw a frequency polygon, right? So your frequency polygon, it's basically going to be your graph, uh, which we, you're going to draw it like this. Let me just, uh, let me just try and draw it here, right? So now, firstly, what is that you're going to have? Now here, you are going to have the time in minutes, which is going to be the x-axis. So you're going to have your time in minutes, right? This is going to be your time. And then you are saying the time it's measured in what? In minutes. Uh, and then after that, what else then are you going to have? Then here you are going to have your frequency, right? Here you are going to have your frequency. And then now... What else then now are you then going to have? So then you are going to then find out an accurate scale, right? So let's say we use the scale of five. So this is going to be five. This is going to be your 10. This is 15. This is 20. This is going to be a 25, right? Uh, right. Or, or rather, let me just let me just use a different scale. Let's say I use the scale of what? Let's say I use the scale of uh 15s right let's say i use the scales of 15 let's say this is going to be uh let's say i use uh this is going to be zero this is going to be my 15 right uh let's say uh this is zero this is 15 uh this is going to be 30 right this is going to be uh your 45 this is going to be your what this is going to be your uh then after 45, this is going to be what? Uh, this is going to be your 60. 
and after yes after you 60 then this is going to be your 75 if i'm not mistaken right and uh after that now what else then are you gonna have right so uh, and then from here you are going to have what you are going to have uh, the frequency and under frequency, let's say here we can use then the scale of what? The scale of your 10, right? You say this is going to be your 10. Or another 5, let's say this is 5, this is 10. Let's say this is 15. This is 20. This is 25. This is 30. This is going to be 35. And so on and so forth, right? Now, and how, how are we then going to do this, right? So we are going to say, firstly... Uh, you are going to start with what? Now, you are going to say uh, from here, what is it that you are having here? So, the first midpoint then from here, it's going to be, uh, remember here, it's 15, right? And what is going to be, uh, we said 15, 25, and what was the other midpoint from 0 to 10? It's going to start at 5, right? So, it's going to be your 0 and 5, which is the first midpoint, right? And then what else then are you going to have? Then, uh, you are going to say this is 15 and also your 2, right? So 15 and your 2 is going to be almost somewhere here, right? 15 and your 2 is going to be somewhere here. And after that, you are going to have what? Uh, you are going to have uh, 25, then 25 is almost somewhere here, right? Uh, your 25 is almost somewhere here. So 25 and also what? And your 5, right? This is going to be 25 and your 5. And then after that, you are going to have what? This is going to be uh, your your 7 and also your 35, right? Uh, this is 7 and also your 35, if I'm not mistaken, yes. So, and your 35 might be somewhere here. And also your, uh, your 7 and your 7, it's approximately here, right? Your 7 is approximately here. And uh, after that, then you are going to have your 8 and also 45, so the 8 is also just almost uh, on this one, 8 and also your 45. So your 8 is going to be somewhere here, all right? Your 8 is going to be somewhere here. And also, uh, it's 8 and 45. Then it's 18. It's 18 and also your 55, right? So this is going to be 18 and 55. And then after 45, it's 50. Before, then 55 is somewhere here. And your 18 is going to be somewhere in here, right? So this is going to be almost... Uh, somewhere here right so that's going to be this one and uh then after that you are going to have what uh that's 55 and 18 then you're going to have what you're going to have a uh, 65 right you're going to have 65 and you're what now you're 65 you are going to have 65 and you're 20 if i'm not mistaken yes so 65 and you're 20 it's going to be somewhere here right 65 and you're 20 it's going to be somewhere here and now this graph needs to have the footer and the footer, the, the next midpoint, it's going to be what it was 65. It's going to be 75. So it's going to be 75 and zero, which is going to be the next footer. Then now we are then going to just connect these, uh, right? You're going to connect these, even if you can use your straight line and still absolutely correct, right? You're going to collect, connect all of these. Look at me. Yes. You're connecting all of these ones, right? And then after, then you connect also this one here. Oh, it's again. So def definitely now this is going to what? This is going to be your frequency. This is going to be a frequency polycoin. Oh, it's again. Uh, it's going to be your frequency polycoin. So basically, this is how we go about when we do our frequency polycoin, right? You just take your 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 your, your time or rather your class interval and also your midpoint. Sorry, right? So basically, that is going to be that one. And now let's look at the next question. Uh, now that we've uh, drawn uh, that one, then now they want us to find out what is going to be the estimate mean. So the easier way of writing the estimate mean would be, uh, then I can erase this one or let me just write it here. Right. So our estimate mean, remember the mean in this case, it's going to be given by what? Now it's given by frequency and midpoint. So uh, now, if you don't want to do it, the table method, you can start by just saying it's going to be 2 multiplied by 15, right? It's 2 multiplied by 15, plus it's going to be 5 multiplied by 25. 5 multiplied by 25, it's going to be also what? It's going to be 5 multiplied by 25, uh, plus 7 multiplied by 35, 
uh, it's seven multiplied by 35. It's going to be eight multiplied by 45. Uh, it's going to be what? It's going to be 18 multiplied by 55. Then it's going to be what? It's going to be 20 multiplied by 65. Are we together? Then now that's going to be that one. And then you are going to divide by what? Now you are going to divide by all of this. So you are going to add 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 18 and also your 20. Because all of this is going to give you what? It's going to give you your results of your cumulative frequency, right? Which is going to be when you are adding all of these, I think they are going to give you your 63, right? And as soon as you have that, then you can then find out what is going to be your mean value, right? Uh, and then your mean value is going to what? Now, when you multiply all of this, this is going to be 3,050 divided by 63, right? 3,050 divided by 63, which is going to give us what? This is going to be 48,41. Are we together? So that's going to be your mean that you're going to find, which is going to be 48,41. Are we together? Now, hopefully all of this now is making sense and you can, you know, at least have an understanding in terms of how can we go about, you know, whenever you are required to do statistics. Oh, it's okay. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you.